Okay, so um, I'm going to ask you some, some political question about the Japanese diplomacy. The, the harmony is one of the most important concepts in Japanese society. Do you think Japan was well harmonized with the other East Asian nations in the post-war period? In your view, what was uh, the best policy and the worst policy of Japan toward other East Asia? Well, basically, I do say to see what harmony mm -hmm. and understanding uh, each other is very important. But in the other, in the other world, you have, you have to admit that there are lots of constraints. Mm -hmm. uh, in case of Japan, uh, right after the war, Japan was occupied by allied forces. Mm -hmm. And then during that period, uh, as I was saying, the Korean War broke out. And uh, East-West conflict mm -hmm. was not only in, in, in the Iron Curtain area in the West, mm -hmm. but this part was the another frontier between, between East and West. Mm -hmm. and, uh, We are, as the occupation forces in Japan, mainly consisted uh, of U.S. forces. Mm -hmm. And uh, for Japan, there is no alternative other than to join Western Japan. And uh, Japan became the Run trying to this On the other hand, the Allied powers had the policy in the beginning uh, not to let Japanese have any. Um, mm -hmm. After the Korean War, there are uh, policy changes, but still there was a lot of restriction. Mm -hmm. And so we had to depend on the alliance. Mm -hmm. uh, now, we, I, I, we usually say there are three main uh, objectives mm -hmm. of the Japanese diplomacy. Mm -hmm. One is the Japan-U.S. alliance. Uh -huh. The second is the uh, United Nations, mm -hmm. the cooperation with the United mm -hmm. Nations. And the third is the uh, Asia. Asia. But when we talk about Asia, it's mainly uh, North East and South East Asia. Mm -hmm. uh, the Central Asia, or, uh, the uh, west of India is mm -hmm. it's, it's very different. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I, I think we we pursue this policy uh, that I would say that mm -hmm. this Japan-U.S. alignment occupies such a dominant factor. Uh, our relations with Asia has not has not been so smooth, and uh, and also there is another factor that uh, those Asian countries suffered from the Japanese uh, the Japanese occupation. And uh, well, now this East-West confrontation, uh, it, it meant a confrontation between the United States and the Soviet Union. But that factor has now decreased. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think the tension from North Korea is now higher now. The 
originally, I think, Japan U.S. military alliance uh, was to some extent uh, directed to China. But now, I think that aspect is also changing. There is a uh, lot uh, improving relations between U.S. US and China. US and China. Mm -hmm. And uh, although on one hand China's uh, military is expanding mm -hmm. uh, so rapidly, mm -hmm. I, at the moment I don't think that is that is a threat to Japan. Mm -hmm. But uh, 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 so I think we have to increase our efforts toward uh, toward Asia. Uh, but you cannot just, uh, for instance, in Europe, they have their own sort of unified Europe. Mm -hmm. In Asia, it's, although in abstract we know the Asian value, but uh, the, when you look up that each country, mm -hmm. they are so different. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I think we have to, we have to be very uh, pragmatic. And uh, I think we have I have to listen to them and mm -hmm. whatever we can I think we have to respond.